Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Jack Barrow. And I'm Devin. And we are three out of the four people that made this movie. Later, we will introduce you to the fourth person. which He's not here right now due to contract issues, but yeah. <laughs> yes, well, anyways, I played Mario and Bowser and Kirby in the movie. Here in our secret laboratory or something. It's not very secret. Actually, it's, it's the... Our headquarters. Yes, our, our sort of studio that we make all the stuff. We had to first come up with um, the right voices for the characters we, we uh, decided to portray. It took a while. Yeah. Yes. It, was, it wasn't really easy to design who to, who, yes. which guy should play which character. Yes, and uh, Mike um, uh, so, so I supplied all of the microphones and the rest of the stereo system. I play Yoshi, like, Yoshi, hello, what's going on? All that kind of stuff. Like, that crazy. And, and uh, Princess Peach, I think? Yeah, and Captain Falcon. Well, um, what did it actually take us to put this movie together, guys? Hmm. Uh, it took, we we obviously need a GameCube and some controllers. Yeah. Yes, we need a GameCube and some controllers. And don't forget the Smash game. Because in order and to, Animal Crackers. In order to yes, deal and with Animal Crackers. Lots of soda. Yes, we and were even considering adding the Animal Crackers in as extra characters. I think we did. Yes. Um, yes. Well, we think we did, of course. Because the Animal Crackers, they could provide sort of a comic relief or a Christmas present to the audience, if you will. And some film shop stuff by Michael here. <laughs> yep. Yes. Special and, effects are quite hard to do. It took a very long time. Yes, because I saw your impressive effects with the ghost Yoshi and the flying through the, um, the stratosphere type thing. And the weird stuff at the beginning, like stuff that did not make any sense at all. He did that. Yep. Well, now we're going to take you guys over to the characters that are actually in the movie and see what they thought of their stunt work. Yep. So Hi, we hope you enjoyed the little interview with the actual cast. Which yes. Apparently, we just realized that they didn't know they were voiced over. Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, yeah. this is just three of the four characters, I mean, three of the four actors. Yes. Yes, but due to the circumstances of be out of control, thanks a lot, God, that, yeah. well, the fourth guy is not here available at the moment, so. Yeah. We, we're doing it for him. Though so he will be back later. Yes. yes. So we just want to You'll say, see him later. Yeah. yeah. So we just want to say, hola, como estas? How are you all today? In other words, that means, would you like a chips of oil on your sandwich, please? Yeah. yeah in other words, that oil. means, would you like a Mario for a butt whipping? <laughs> okay. Well, that was not, that wasn't exactly <laughs> in the script, but um, hey, improvisation is, is one of our uh, strengths here. We do yeah. a lot of improv, a lot of a lot of building up to that moment where you have to, to just uh, say it like it is. I guess. Yes, I bet 99.9% .9 of the whole film is just improv. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we never... Well, except Mike was also able to script us sometimes. You know, he came in and he got the notebook and everything. He scripted... And what are you doing right now? He scripted us the main ideas of the whole film. Yep, and then we changed it along the way. And mm -hmm. Yeah, so there were certain yeah. minor tweaks that we had to add before, like, you know, during the entire film process. So... <laughs> So, gentlemen, is that, is that all we have for the viewers right now? Um, I don't know. Uh, I would like to say something. What? Oh, howdy how, kids! Right. Okay. Um, indeed. But, I don't know, guys. Should we wait until our other cast member comes here later? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, we shall wait. That is for fun. If, if that thou shalt do it without him, him, then thou shalt die. Yep. Yes, um... Uh, my brother is coming soon, Sean Doyle. He plays uh, at least one of the villains of the story. Yes. And Ganon, the, the, the should... Link, um, the evil villain of Link and Zelda and all that stuff. Yeah. Yes. Those characters. Mm -hmm. And if you'll see back behind us, we have a rather elaborate set of drums right here. Yes. Which, it doesn't These... really have anything to do with the story, but but I thought it'd be neat if we added our own drumming music into the the Smash store, the Super Smash Brothers store, and make it. Yeah, spice up a bit. But yes. you all catch those drum tunes in the sequel. Yes. The sequel. These drums um, belong to Michael here. Which we hope... It's coming in 2008, in August. Pretty yes. much, it will come around that time. Actually, we meant to finish this film during the summer, well, Actually, but July or June. July or August is the correction, Devin. No, August, August but due is sometime August during is the summer. But through the circumstances, way beyond our control, we had to go to college and... Leave the film to be yeah. finished some other time. Well, I had right. to film a commercial that is just a piece of you know what. It, it was very bad. I didn't like it at all. My uh, short film 
uh, Fish Store was much better. Which you can also catch some other films that the three of us have made, including his brother, which mm -hmm. would be The Legends of War Show, which you will catch more of that this summer. Don't miss it. And not, also, also our still yet to be finished feature film called The Conventionals. We still got two other more films that we have to finish. We already written the scripts for it. We just have to improvise them, which yep. would take quite a while. Which we hope that the sequel, which is pretty much my favorite of the story, the sequel to this, we hope you enjoy that even more. Yeah. Since we kind of left you with a fat plumber staring at an oh so sexy guy dressed in blue. Yes. A cliffhanger, just like Pirates of the Caribbean 2. Dun, dun. Dead, man, wah, wah, wah. Dead Man's chest is at that world's end. Right. Okay. Okay. So, is that That's all it. we have for the people right now? Yes. Actually, yes, we do. Until later. Until later. Until later. Chiki Kinachua and... Kinichiwa. Um, Ola Homono Hana. Whatever oh, Did you even said. know what you just said? No. Sayonara. In the television comedy world, the people are entertained by two separate yet equally important types of shows. Traditional sitcoms that get laughs out of everyday situations, like trying to fix your own plumbing or inviting two dates to the same dance. And animated shows that make jokes about farting. This is the latter. Ah, uh, sorry, I just farted. And we're back. <laughs> yes, hold on. Come on, it's us. Konnichiwa. As you can see now, our fourth crew member, Sean, has mm -hmm. joined us. Yes, yes. Uh, how y'all doing? Yeah. yeah. Tell the audience about the voices that you do in, in the thing. Well, the voices I do, you know, I, I just, when the thought of Super Smash Brothers came to my mind, I was like, the Super Smash Brothers, okay, would we really make some money off of this? And then I just, you know, well, they called me in to do the voices of thing. You know, I read for Link, Ganon, and DK. Yes, I read for those, and... This kind of provide the voice like I thrust my sword into that enemy I see there. And, kind of yes. like a Scottish British mm -hmm. sound. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. And thought that was the best that was the best way to, you know, make representation of that character. Mm -hmm. So what else did you have to, did you have to tell the audience, Michael? What else did I have to tell them? Well, how long it took to actually get the movie to actually match the script that we wrote, since the script is just like a basic outline of the story. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. just written down in a notebook in a few weeks. Yes. And Jack, what was like maybe your thought on the whole project? Well, I don't have much to say about it, but... Well, Jack, the project originally started from a little conversation we had about how funny it would be if there was a Smash movie. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, kind, so that kind of inspired the four of us to actually make one. Yes. Since, since to collaborate, they, we bring those elements together to make other elements and stuff. Well, exactly. and we got the whole thing of making the story and then improvising to match the story from this show that me and Devin worked on a while back called Legends of War, which we used Halo for. And that, I actually thought it was really funny. Yeah. And, and we should be working on another Legends of War Halo this summer. Time. Yes. Uh, so be sure to check it out. There'll be a preview on YouTube. Fam. It'll be coming yes. to the theater near you, kids. Might come. Hey, it might even be similar to Red vs. Blue. Yes, and we're already ta talking to, to Ronald McDonald right now for negotiations about how to sell the uh, the McKids meal toys of the Little Super Smash Brothers action figures. Yes. You should love it. With our names on it. Yes. Exactly. Or so, literally this on the bag, of course. Because you, ha you have to put Mario and you to put DK on that whole game. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. But I don't know, Dev. I thought the concept for our Legends of War show was actually quite interesting. I mean, you have the four main characters, which is a pimp, <laughs> an American, and a <laughs> alone <laughs> on a planet. Yeah. I remember I was Antonio in there. Antonio. Yes. I was like, I'm Antonio. And he was like, you are an asshole. And that, like, Senor Bob, he was the Mexican guy, wasn't he? Yeah, he Yeah. Senor Bob. And I forgot, who did I play again? Um, you didn't play anyone on that show. Yeah, but oh, Michael, I, I but, think I did. But Michael was T. I did I too. Oh, okay, I think we're getting off the subject a little bit. Anyways, back to our movie. Anyways, you can see yeah, a trailer. Yeah, sure. yeah. You can see a trailer of that on the rest of the bonus material. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, um, what about the stunt work? How do you think cast it on their stunt work? I think the, the stunt work. Right them... Some of them I were mean, surprisingly tricky to pull off. The camera angles were a bit difficult. They were yes, I mean, during we, one shot, I was like, "Have we called Cut Michael?" And he was like, "No." And I was like, "Oh, sorry." And then, yeah, yeah. I mean, what were you saying, Jack? I thought the emperors. I mean, the improvisations weren't the easiest thing to do. I mean, like no, because they had to. You had to say what was within the storyline. I what mean, 
I mean, you couldn't have a story of, say, Link trying to look for Zelda, and all of a sudden he's like, I want a cheeseburger with bacon on top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so totally kind of still that idea. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that didn't do yeah, so well. Because Link would not like cheeseburgers. He wouldn't. Yes, uh, I don't even think he knows what they are, dude. Yeah. One thing I didn't especially like about, you know, maybe the voice playing is that you know you want my phone would get really tired you know during you know recording i think it would get i think it would make a boring story yeah. well and sometimes when we recorded the screen would get jumpy and and it was kind of hard to m make like know what we were doing and still talk at the same time exactly yeah, but, but, but like during one scenario i had to handle the camera and voice yoshi the cute little devil will love my yoshi which was near the end of the movie yes. because we really mm -hmm. didn't need him to play yoshi for the ghost so yeah mm -hmm. Yes, and of course, me playing DK, I was kind of like, ooh, ooh, hmm, yes, I smashed things and don't know what else to say. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, as for right now, we will take a brief intermission with this song as we show you how we use the mics and stuff. Adios, so, kitties. Yep, for, for now. now. Yes, another hula, nina hukanengo. And many of those other things that say goodbye. In yes. other words, intermission. Intermission. Beep. And we are back. How y'all doing? Yeah. yeah. Kiss your ass. Kiss it. Well, we'll provide it for you. From here on in, it's easy street. Any choirs on that street? 24 happy hours a day. Oh, boy! We'll stop your whole bus at the gate. Can I see that pamphlet, sir? I know this house is freaking sweet. Anyways, we are back. Uh, hey, I'm you got my cap. I did. Yeah, not. But we yes, did. did. Yes, I did. Yes, I know I did. So, guys, guys, what? now don't be guys, y'all. Oh, oh, sure, we can just oh rolling. Okay. we're rolling. We're rolling. Oh, okay. that's right. Okay. Yeah. Well, sorry, Ed, of your little antics of dancing to music from Family Guy. Yes. Uh, we're also a fan of that show. We're, we're trying to talk to the creator to negotiate contract rights. Is it was right? his contract idea. Money. Yeah. It's your idea. Don't put all well, this on me. I never It was his idea. Hey, you told us you were friends with Seth MacFarlane, but you lied, right? Yes, just right. like that. In order to get into your pants. <laughs> now, why would she lie about that? Okay, what was that? She wanted to get into your pants. Who wanted to get in his pants? The brown <laughs> family guy wanted to get in his pants. Meg wanted to get into your. What's okay, all right. Yours? We're off topic again, guys. We want to talk about. <laughs> we were we we're gonna talk about how <laughs> the cast, how we thought the cast did. I mean, mm. how did you think they did? I mean, I thought Mario and Lincoln all of them did a pretty good job. Right? Yes, I think they did a pretty good job, too. Well, Luigi was too afraid of the haunted mansion we were trying to use. Yes, yeah, so we, yeah. we decorated the mansion to look very soothing-like so he'd be brave enough to go in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, after um, being a star in this other game movie that we weren't a part of, he, uh, it, was a little, it was a little hard to... Yeah, know, so we'd pay him some extra money to do it. Mm -hmm. Especially the scene where Mario grabs an invincibility star. Apparently the star didn't glow at that right time, so we had to do that several times until that had a perfect glow to it. Yeah, it was like 20 takes or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, anyways, we leave the rest of this interview to the characters and the cast, so we bid you adieu. It's because we yes. have just off camera, the characters are all ready and waiting to, be, to talk to you people, to, ask, to answer any questions that you may have. Okay, yes. and goodbye.